Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we sort of got our little home page going here and we made made it our official home page. Uh, what we want to do today is we customize our products page. So our products page has got a styling from our custom site. Now we actually want to we add this to the cart we want to actually view the cart itself because I think this is going to be the generic pages great what we'll do we'll customize the cart and checkout pages today now you haven't got quite so much control over the cart and checkout pages but we can certainly go ahead and make them our own make them much more in style with what we've going, got going on at the moment. So let's go back to our dashboard. Let's go down to Divi and we'll go to the theme builder. And let's add a new template. This time we want it to affect the cart and the checkout page. Don't need to affect the shop page because we've already got a custom shop page. And my account, we may as well have that the same style. So let's create the template. As you can see, it's put in our global footer. You can choose to have different footers on different sections and different headers. You, you might notice that our header for this one's actually white instead of blue. For me, that's actually fine, but if you wanted to put in a custom one, you could do so right there. But let's go to our checkout body here, build custom body. And I want to build from scratch. And here we go. Okay, well, the first thing I want to put in is a title bar. So I'm only going to have the page number in here. So I selected a single column row. I'm simply going to put in a text module. And we'll use the dynamic content, the little three disks icon here when you hover over it. To call up the page name post archive title there we go now I want this in the middle I'm also going to want it white in a second but we'll change the background color of the section before we do that let's just save that and put our section background in go into the section cog to background I want to grab my purple color and add my little bit of hex code so we've got a purple background there and we'll also add an image and we'll blend it into the background. Let's grab that first one I've got there. And still on the image, let's go down a bit and blend it. I'm going to use multiply, which sort of multiplies the image and the background color. That's going to work fine for me. That's a little too tall. Let's just save that. We can go and hover over it, left click and pull up the padding until it's the size that we actually want here something like that should be fine in fact that's maybe even a bit too short let's just add a little bit more to there something like that and I'm going to go ahead and put a bit of box shadow on there as well great now let's just make our text a light color so we can see it so back into the module make that white it's in the center that's fine can capitalize it if you want I think I'll leave mine lowercase I'm just gonna bring it up there we go fantastic okay the next thing we're gonna want is the actual content from the checkout cart and the checkout pages themselves so let's add a new section, a little blue. Make it a regular section. Inside I'm going to put the row, single row. This time I've got to go down and put in post content. And you might say, well, that's my blog post. Well, that's true, but this is actually going to pull in whatever's on the page. So in this case, it would be the checkout. So that's fine. And we haven't got a whole lot of stuff we can do to this. We can make our text 
In fact, the text is the dark there. We can make our heading text our purple colors if we want. Just simply go through H1. Put in my hex color there. And you can copy this through to each one. You can just copy heading H1, paste, and you see they're turning purple as I'm doing this. So it'll cover all the bases. For our headings but you'll notice the links and these little bars here are highlighted the default color of the site which is blue as default so I want to change that to its so it's our purple color that will affect how things display so let's go to our dashboard here's our old cart page right here go down to Divi to theme customizer Once it's loaded, we'll go to General Settings, Typography, and down here you'll see the Body Link color. I'm going to change that to my purple color and save that. Now, when we refresh, I won't refresh right now because we've not got it saved. The blue bar and the little link there should change to purple, which is more in line with our color. Okay, so that's going to bring in our contents. What else do we want here? Let's put that little sale, a little sales section that where they can sign up, never miss a sale. And I think we saved that yesterday. So let's add it. I think we saved it as a section. So add from the library, never miss. There we are. That's fantastic. Okay. The only other thing that I perhaps want to do here is put some dividers in just to make it a little more custom looking and we'll check it out. So let's go to our section right here. Go to design, we'll go to dividers. And for the top, choose a style you want to put in. I guess I'll go with something like this. Purple color is fine for the top. Again, I'm going to make mine about 50% half the page height and I'm going to take the opacity down on it. It's already inherited it from the top there, but I'll put my purple color in. But I want to make it a lot paler so any writing on there can be seen. But I want it to be there. That's fine. And for the bottom, let's roll down. And that'll be at the bottom of this section, which will be on top of our Never Miss a Sale. Let's put a similar one, or opposite number, I suppose. Again, we'll make it that purple color. Take the opacity down. Take the height up. I think I'll make this like 60% perhaps, 60. And you can put in, type it in like that, or you can put in your percent height with the slider here. If you want it to repeat, look like a razor saw or something like that you can just bring that up I don't so I'll put mine down to zero I think what I'd also like so let's say that I'm gonna add another module right here I'm gonna add a button and let's say continue shopping In case they want to go and shop some more, that's always a good idea. Now they've got the option to sign up too. For a link, I want it to be in one of my pages. So that'll be my tech shop page link. Tech home would do fine, actually. That's fine. Well, actually, we had a shop test page, didn't we? We need to add that to the menu. We'll just check that's the right page in a minute. We want it open in the same window. Design-wise, my button wants to be in the middle there. So let's get alignment middle. And let's actually style it the way I want to. So we can use our purple color again. Use custom styling for the button. Text size is absolutely fine. I think I will capitalize that though. text color I'm going to change that to white 
add my color and on hover I'm going to make it that dark purple color so we'll go hover over background button background there hit the little arrow got desktop and hover state hover state I'm going to make it a darker purple there we go I don't want a border so I'm going to take that away Let's take that down to zero and I will give it a bit of box shadow I don't think I want the icon as well you see when it does that there's an icon there and you've got all these icons elegant icons to choose from here I'm going to turn that one off put a bit of box shadow on the text what does it look capitalized that's okay it's fine we can make it a little bit bigger by adding a bit more padding too so let's give it a bit of box shadow and then just above box shadow we've got spacing I think it's tall enough but I just wanted a bit wider so let's give it some more padding left and right let's see 50 pixels left and fix 50 pixels right probably go up more let's go 80 and as you can see because I've got that checked it does both at once that's fine I think that's going to do it so let's save this save our page changes down the bottom here and exit save these page changes okay let's now go and visit our site now let's check on something let's add this to our cart I think I might go and put this on top of the actual image so it pops up on top first in a moment that's great now let's go check on our cart we should have our new cart page there we go there's our cart page now you'll notice that some of these buttons are still sort of blue legending let's go in and see if we can't change that with our customizer again we'll go into our customizer this time let's go back to buttons and we'll give it the default background of our purple color and we'll take the border off we won't have an icon and let's go for the hover button style background color we'll make it that darker purple again we've got no border or borders radius so that's fine let's publish that let's go to our cart and refresh and there we have it that's looking much more in style with what we've got going on with our site and a little more interesting than our regular cart page there let's go go ahead to check out and it should have done that page also there we go obviously fill all that on in and proceed to PayPal and we're good to go we've got our continue shopping button and our sign up form on the bottom of each of those of course you can put in a little shop module if you want to tout some different products so there is how to customize the cart and checkout pages I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignertechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day